g'day. And while I'm on the theme of a little mathematical humour, let me share perhaps one of the most popular mathematical limericks with you. And I believe it was uh, first composed by John Saxon, who wrote a number of mathematical textbooks, although I have heard others given the credit for this limerick. But here it is. You do have to know, by the way, some old-fashioned terms for numbers. Here's one. This is not so old-fashioned, we still use this. A dozen means twelve, or douzaine. Uh, when you have a dozen dozen, in the old... St oh, I'm not writing that very well. In the old days, when I was growing up, it was called a gross, which is 144. And there's another old term called a score, which means 20. In old books, you sometimes hear of someone... You know, four score and three, meaning four of those plus three is 83 years old. Or three score and seven will be 67. It's, it's old terminology. And here's the limerick. A dozen, a gross, and a score. There they are, a dozen, a gross, and a score, plus three times the square root of four, divided by seven, plus 5 times 11 equals 9 times itself, nothing more. Nice and simple. And the funny thing is, it works mathematically. And I'll show you why. Well, here goes. A dozen, a gross, and a score. If we add these, we get 156, 176. The square root of 4 is 2, and 3 twos are 6. 5 elevens are 55. Strictly speaking, I'd say the left... Oh, I'm not concentrating tonight. The left-hand side of the equation is this. 176 plus 6 is 182. 7's into 182. 7's into 18 goes twice. With 4 over and 7's into 42 goes 6. And 26 and 55 is 70, 81. Which I think you can see is equal to 9 squared. 81 plus nothing. So that equals the right hand side. End of proof. Quod erit demonstrandum, all is done and sealed. What a fascinating little limerick. I hope you enjoyed it, and I thank you for watching.